Hey guys, Dr. Brown here. I want to talk to you about a great topic. I have a lot of people that ask me about what is it like post-op day number one after having a breast augmentation? This is a great question. The most common thing that we encounter post-op day one is obviously the discomfort of having operated around the pectoralis major muscle. So one of the most important things post-op day one, I believe to help you with that is going to be doing some on and off icing and cooling of the chest. Another thing that's gonna be important is we're gonna give you a series of medications that are to help you, not just pain medications, but muscle relaxing medications. Something that happens after you have surgery on that muscle is it tends to spasm, which can cause a lot of pain. Now it may take several weeks to a couple of months for the muscle to stretch out and for the spasms to go away. So I think something that's really vitally important for you on the first day after surgery is that you schedule your medications. You don't just take them when you feel like you have pain, you take them even when you don't feel like you have pain because when you do that, you get your level of control up to a stagnant place. Otherwise, if you just take them when you feel the pain, you're gonna yo-yo up and down with your pain control. So the goal is to get really good control of your pain. Now the other thing that's really, really important that I think you're gonna find in this book that I launched last year, The Real Beauty Bible, this goes through everything you need to know before, during, and after surgery. And one of the big things that I talk about in this book for you moms who don't know how to stop, and I get it, we love you for that, is that you need to have the things in place before surgery to help you with your children or any of the activities and duties that are normally done in the house by you. The reason for that is, and I will tell you, almost every single mom that I see underestimates recovery. And when I say that, they think they're gonna be able to braid their daughter's hair and have them come in the room and massage their arm and let them lay with mommy while they're recovering. And that's, that's not recovering. What you really need to do is you need to have people in the home or you stay somewhere else for a few days where you can either be away from the kids or if you wanna be around the kids, have someone at home who has actually helped you make the lunches that are prepared to go for their kids for school, who've got the duties like laundry or other things that you may be doing in the house every day taken care of. The goal for you in recovery is to actually not just physically recover, but to mentally recover. If you don't allow your mind to recover and not feel like you constantly have to be doing all the things in the house, then you're not gonna feel good physically. I literally see women come into my office a week later after surgery and I can look them in the eyes and I know instantaneously that they've been doing too much the whole week versus ones that come in that look like they're refreshed and not that uncomfortable of the ones who've actually been letting people help them out. So I think some of the most important things for you post-op day one is to get on the medications on a routine schedule, icing on and off to help with your discomfort, and just listening to the general instructions that your surgeon tells you. So I hope that helps you understand what the first day after surgery is gonna be like. We'll see you next time for another topic.